From KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live. Joining us now is Greg Grant. Today he's here to share with us a little bit about his upcoming lecture. Good morning. Good morning. Thank nice you for coming in. Glad to be here. Of course. All right. So I just want to jump right into it. What is uh, this lecture about? Tell me some details about it. It's a uh, lecture series that the Smith County Master Gardeners put on each year uh, at the Tyler Library. And normally the Master Gardeners do the talks, but usually once a year. Uh, I do one of the talks and they let me pick a topic. So this year I'm talking about butterflies. Okay. It'll be Friday at the library, 1130, lasts about an hour. And it's free, so everybody's invited. Uh, we've generally got enough, enough space. Sometimes we have to s squeeze them in there. And we're gonna talk uh, everything butterflies, pretty butterflies, what they nectar on, what they host on, how you can have more butterflies, names of some butterflies, that sort of thing. Can you give us a fun fact right now about butterflies? Here's a question for you. Okay. Put you on the spot. Can you name the Texas state insect? Hint, it's a butterfly. Um, monarch butterfly? Monarch butterfly. It's, it's a, not very many people know that. That's our state insect. Monarchs <laughs> have been having trouble all across the, the country, so it's our only migratory butterfly, so it has to have a certain plant to host them, works its way up the country. And then in the fall, the whole, every last one of them has to fly all the way back to Mexico, a few of them in California, and so they have to have lots of nectar plants, and so uh, lots of troubles with nectar plants, with host plants, and their overwintering grounds. And so our, our state insect, it's a butterfly, is actually having trouble. So we'll talk some mm. about, about that as well. Well, it's pretty interesting. I don't know much about butterflies. I know they're absolutely beautiful. I love to see them. Uh, but I don't know much about it. And I'm sure there's not many people that do. Who's all welcome to come to this lecture? Anybody. You can be a beginning gardener. You can be a non-gardener. Because the cool thing about butterflies, you don't have to water them. You don't have to divide right. them. You don't have to spray them. <laughs> They're there for everybody to enjoy. So I call them flying flowers, flying, flying flowers. Flying flowers. And there so you go. They literally are there for anybody to enjoy, uh, from kids to adults. So anybody that wants to come it can come. And we're going to talk about you know, why they're important as pollinators, why they're important mentally to us, just because there's something pretty to look at. And as we know, times are, are tough. And it seems like every year there's some other disaster we have to deal with. And so butterflies, although they're short-lived, they're so beautiful, but they're ephemeral, and they make people happy. But what most people don't realize is that they have to have certain plants for the caterpillars to feed on. They think of worms as a bad thing. Well, if mm -hmm. it wasn't for caterpillars, there would be no butterflies. If it weren't for caterpillars, there'd be no birds. And so butterflies are important, uh, more so than just something pretty to look at. Yeah, definitely. Well, here, I have a question for you. Put you on the spot a oh, little okay, bit yeah, now. I, you owe me now. <laughs> I owe you now. So well, what type of plants are butterflies attracted to? Every butterfly has its own uh, favorite plants to nectar on. So just like people, they have their favorite food. So nectar is where they get their little sugar water, like going to the bar, and they'll dif drink different drinks. But the caterpillars are very host specific. And so many butterflies have caterpillars that only eat a single type of plant, maybe even a single species. So in other words, monarchs only feed on milkweed. So if it's mm. not in the genus Asclepius, they won't eat it. Uh, zebra swallowtails only feed on pawpaw trees. And so they're very, very specific about what they have. And so it's not just as simple as having a bunch of pretty flowers to have butterflies. We have to have all these native plants out there, things that you wouldn't even pay attention to or, or notice. Poisonous plants, toxic plants, ugly plants. All of them. Uh, all of them support different butterflies. So it awesome. takes, takes the whole team to, uh, to make a flock of butterflies. And so each one is very specific. Picky, picky, picky. We picky. think children are picky, butterflies, butterflies are pickier. Butterflies are pickier. Well, thank you so much for coming in. You're very this welcome. is going to be a great event. If you're interested at all in learning a little bit more, definitely check into that. We appreciate you coming in. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, coming up.